All right, we're back with China Gorman, and I love some of these questions I'm going to ask you now. The first one is, most leaders I talk to are making a difference. How are you making a difference in the world today? Uh, so I have sort of two buckets. One is the business world, um, and the other is sort of society as a whole. On, on the business side of things, I'm so excited about the Global Force work, human work that I'm doing and the conference um, that will be in uh, Florida in June um, uh, from speakers to um, the engagement crowd of people who are focused on bringing humanity into the workplace. Uh, that's one of my favorite things that I'm doing right now. Awesome. On, the, on the volunteer side, um, education has been something that I've, I've really spent a lot of time with. Um, I was very involved and on the board and the chair of the Council for Adult and Experiential Learning for many years. Currently I'm on the board of Jobs for America's Graduates, the longest running, most effective dropout prevent, high school dropout prevention um, uh, program um, in, the, in the country. The board is made up uh, half of governors uh, both from both sides of the aisle. Uh, senior human, res the, you know, CHRO, senior human resources leaders from all kinds of organizations, as well as corporate communications and legislative affairs executives, um, we are we are um, changing the trajectory of the lives of generations to come by working with the most at-risk high school students. So these are the kids who are homeless and live under. Um, highway bridges, their parents are incarcerated, um, their brothers and sisters are in gangs, um, they live in a home that's full of, of substance abuse or, or whatever and keeping these kids in high school through graduation and then for a year beyond as they move into the world of work or go on to further education or, or both or into the military um, there are a million kids that JAG have, has helped since its inception 35 years ago. That's, that's a million kids who would not, clearly, absolutely would not have finished high school, who are now active in the economy, who are now having children of, of their own and, and, yeah. um, and living lives, sort of uh, not um, way more dramatic a difference than mine, but I've lived a life that I never you know, imagine these young people are living lives that not only could they, it wasn't going to happen. So the total that is a million becoming people. Right. Exactly right. The work that JAG does and I did with that organization and and so it's this WW word. Um, um, if there is not in every state, if there's a organization in your state, you should be a leader, you should get involved. You need to be talking to your governor, bringing it into the state. 